close EG and welcome to I don't know what number vlog this is uh, probably gonna be short because I did not put up a thread that I was going to make one so yeah probably answer your questions next time I just wanted to kind of give everyone an update on what's been going on where I've been that kind of thing so first if you haven't already seen it somewhere else on the forums or learned it from a one of the leaders or something. Um, I finally got a job a few weeks ago. Until then I had been unemployed for over a year and pretty much all of my time during the day has been devoted to ZG or you know doing something with that aside from the times where I did go out with uh, people I knew. Um, so my activity in the community has definitely taken a dramatic hit. It's a full you know five or eight to five job and you know that kind of thing so you probably will not see me around as much at least here for the first couple months I'm hoping that after I get a regular routine and I'm sort of acclimated to the to the uh, kind of work that I'm doing that it will be easier for me to you know fit in some time and maintain a balance uh, for those who are curious on what I'm doing I'm working for a financial firm, company, place. Um, I'm a programmer analyst, so I work on the back end, uh, all the systems that run all the calculations and stuff like that. Uh, we use JCL and Assembler. We work on an IBM mainframe. These are things that you will probably, if you are a programmer, never hear in your life unless you go into business programming because these are like one level up from machine language. Uh, or machine code languages, and they're not commonly taught if they're taught anywhere. So uh, it's hard getting used to programming the same way you would on, say, a TI-83 calculator, but um, it's, it's not difficult for me to pick up. So hopefully I will be done with my training soon and be doing normal projects and have more time to ZG. Um, unfortunately, I cannot access ZG from work. The, there's, their filters are really good. They're so good that I can't even get onto a proxy anywhere. Um, at least not one that's in any way common that I would feel safe using. But So that means I will generally not be available during the day. Um, there may be a point where I have remote desktop privileges and then I can obviously log on to my desktop here and do what I can if the TS server goes down again like it did a couple weeks like last week or something like that so long term that's that's what I'll hope to do but otherwise um, don't expect a reply or a response to anything before probably 7 p.m. Eastern time uh, that tends to be like when I'm almost guaranteed to be home so and on the weekends I don't have to work on the weekends but that's sort of what's been up with my personal life I am currently saving up to buy a new car as well as to buy a washer and dryer for when I move into an apartment so I'm doing very adult things and trying to make very adult purchases um, so it's it takes a little bit getting used to now with regards to ZG, obviously, since I have limited time, I am trying to focus on um, sort of one issue, and I'm sort of trusting the other admins and leaders to handle sort of the main day-to-day -day stuff, at least for now. And the one thing that I've noticed that I made a post about in the Clan Parliament forum that did not get as many replies as I hoped, but it is what it is, is... Um, recruitment and member retention. Um, last year we were our peak or at our peak um, member count wise active member count wise was around probably double what we have now uh, member count wise and a disclaimer before I go on this member count is not everything you know we have a wide variety of ways to measure activity from the in-game activity system that we added and community activity and things like that but a 50% drop should be alarming to anyone 
because even though you don't want to base things off numbers, they are a statistic that you need to utilize in order to gauge um, the health of a community. So obviously we've been shrinking, the number of divisions we have has been shrinking. Our divisions are tending to go in a cycle of um, they go through dev, then they're released, and then in a few months, because recruitment activity and stuff pretty much stops after you leave dev, um, they lose a bunch of members over time, and the leaders get worn out or whatever, and then it goes back to development, which is really bad because the purpose of our expansion team is not should not be to save current divisions. They should only be focused on making new ones into new games, into really expanding the clan, not maintaining it. So it requires... I don't know. Um, recruitment is very simple. It's one of the easiest things to do. There are a million different ways to do it. But like in a lot of other communities, like in a lot of other communities, members tend to think that, oh, recruiting is just the responsibility of leaders. I don't have to do that. Well, three people, four people, however many people are in your division, have a minuscule power to recruit compared to the entire division. Um, just think about your division. If every single person recruited just one person who was solid and maintained activity in CG. I think if every single person in the clan did that, we would double in no time. I mean, if it, if it took everyone a week to a month to find someone, we would double in a month. So. When you think about it that way, and how easy it is to sort of do that, we had, at least I've been trying to figure out, why don't people want to? Well, first, I don't think that's really on their mind, because um, during development we stress it to leadership trainees, but after that, um, you know, it's up to the leaders to stress that part of being a community member to their division. So, so obviously we need to work on that. The first thing we can do is, is um, work on that and work on, incur on getting division leadership to encourage continual active recruitment. So that will be good. Um, I've also implemented, if you notice in your profile, uh, or your settings page, it's like the first main profile page, there is a link at the top that has a refer ID. So just like in other places, you can use this link to recruit somewhere. And when the recruit registers, your name will automatically be in their recruiter field and it will automatically count toward you. So you don't have to deal with the hustle and fussle of making sure they type in your name correctly because it will already be there if you use the link. And why is this important? Well, number one, the more recruits you have, you can win or be awarded recruitment medals for your efforts. And number two is because of the not sure how many people read it uh, reward system that I'm implementing. So the essential thing is going to be this um, recruiting people, and perhaps like there will be maybe some divisional events like tournaments or something, um, will award you quote unquote tickets, raffle tickets. And every so many months, um, CG, basically me, will be raffling off something. It could be like CG stuff from the store, like a t-shirt or <clears throat> mouse pad or a bag or something. Um, and then that will probably be like the main ones throughout the year. And then at the end of the year, I want to do something bigger, like say raffling off a graphics card up to a certain amount of money. So allowing the winner of the drawing to pick what they want um, and I think that's that's a that's a big thing that I would think that people would want. Uh, note that if you want something for console, we'll work out that too. So it's not trying to leave anyone out. Other prizes may include like in-game points, so like riot points if you're in league, um, Steam wallet stuff if you're in Dota, uh, gems if you play Smite. I don't know what the hell Counter-Strike... I don't think Counter-Strike has any, anything like that. 
or in mass points if you play Terra, whatever. Um, but that can that will also be a prize. So, but once you use a ticket that you have, you can enter as many tickets as you have into one of the raffles we do. But once you enter them, they're gone. You don't get those back. You have to recruit more people to earn more tickets. So, um, it's sort of a sort of it should be sort of a strategic like okay do I want to save them up for a bigger thing do I want to use them now and get this so it gives people a little bit of choice on what they want so we're not forcing you to like use them all the time but the more people you recruit which will give you the most tickets um, will count toward your um, will count toward you getting raffle points and or raffle tickets and the longer the member stays so if the member flakes out after a week you may not get tickets for that but if the member stays around for three months you may get extra tickets for that um, so that also gives you and the community as a whole an incentive to keep people around because you are more likely to um, more likely to get more tickets so uh, I already have looked into a raffle system, and now I just have to work on the code, which I don't know when it, when I will be able to finish it, but the code that will automatically give people tickets for recruits, um, and then will give them additional points if their recruits meet certain requirements. So when that system is up, I will definitely announce it to people. but. This is sort of my thing, like recruitment and just making sure everyone understands that it's everyone's responsibility, that it's easy, and it's, it's too easy. You can do it from a Reddit post, a forum post, or, you know, um, in game. Say you do, you, you and a friend from ZG are queuing or whatever, and you meet someone who's really cool in game. You can say, hey, do you want to check us out? Whatever. Um, I also encourage divisions to have what I call recruitment game nights, and that's where you don't have to do in-house 5v5s, but maybe you split up into groups of two or three, and you send them into, you know, normal games, you get on a Counter-Strike server, whatever, and you play there, and you see who is, you know, friendly, fun, you invite them onto our team speak, and then you invite them to join the clan. You know, there are, it's very easy. And if people say no, they say no. You know, it's not, it's, it requires like almost no effort from uh, the people that are doing it, you know, because if they say yes, then you say, oh, cool, like, check us out. They say no, okay, well, moving on. Um, so there's really the risk reward analysis, there's no real risk to the people recruiting. And there is a lot of reward to be had once this <coughs> system is implemented. Um, and I suggest you start doing it now because I will go back and retroactively count recruits that have been recruited since I uh, since I made the post about the system, or maybe from the beginning of the year. That would probably be easier. So beginning of the year. So in the meantime, I would start recruiting now. Um, it's very easy. So that's pretty much going to be my focus for a while um, until I get more time and I can better manage sort of what I'm, uh, how I'm going to, how my time is going to operate with the clan. So I will try to be on TeamSpeak and Skype so you guys can reach me when I am here uh, during the week and on weekends. <clears throat> Uh, otherwise I don't think I really have anything to, to, to talk about. That's kind of been my main thing. Um, I'm really happy with the admins we have stepping up. Um, we should see them step up more, uh, here in the coming weeks. I think people, some people are still, the new ones are still getting used to their, getting their feet wet. Um, I am also going to start teaching or letting Deet learn some of the back end of the site and the forum. So if there ever is an issue or there needs something to be updated that uh, he will be capable of doing it too. Um, that just means, you know, you get better stuff sooner and you get bug fixes sooner. 
Uh, as I said, I'm just waiting on one person. Um, and yeah, I think that I think that would that's great. Um, as always, like members, post your ideas, please, in the open forum. We're always looking for ideas, especially now to sort of innovate and do what we can to encourage more activity. I'm really interested in seeing people's opinions on how to get the forums utilized more. Um, whether we need, you know, more off-topic forums or whatever. Um, if you have an idea about how to do that, to increase forum use, communication, that kind of thing, um, please post or you can PM me. That sort of, after this, that's my next sort of issue that I want to tackle. Um, and I think some people in administration are also currently tackling that. Um, that's pretty much it. So, what do, what do we talk about? Math got a job. Yay money. Yay car. Yay being an adult. Um, recruitment. Award points. It's easy. Raffles. Um, CG swag. Uh, graphics card. In-game points. Blah, blah, blah. And lastly, form activity. Ideas. Post. PM. That's for the too long didn't listen crowd that's out there. Uh, yeah, so I will see you next time. I will make sure that I post a thread next time so I can answer some questions. And I will try really hard to make sure that I do these monthly, which was originally my goal. And then I holidays came and I got lazy and I got a job interview and then I got a job. So that's it. As always, I'm uh, around. Send me a PM. I will answer eventually. Send me a... Um, TeamSpeak Pokemon, on, I will answer eventually, but that's it. Thanks for listening, and um, fun gaming. Have fun.